Hey guys, what is going on? Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up and use Ultra Permissions. Ultra Permissions is a paid GUI based plugin that you can use in your Spigot or Bucket server. Um, it does cost money, like I said, but in my opinion, it's worth every little bit of money that you pay for it. So let's go ahead and take a look at it right now. Okay, so to set up this plugin, you need to first log into your server console and type in UPC space add super admin, all one word, and then you want to type in your name, so your gamer tag. And then after that, you should be able to have direct access to the uperms GUI. You can access the uperms GUI by typing in slash uperm. No. Now you should have full access to ultra permissions, and you can get into the GUI by typing slash uperms. So when you're inside of uperms, and it looks like this, you can click on users, and it shows you everybody that's online, and then you can click the visibility button, and that'll show you people that have been on your server, but are currently offline. That's one of my favorite features about this server. You can change someone's ranks even if they're not on the server. You can change their permissions and stuff while they're not on the server. All right, so I'm gonna go and show you how to give somebody a rank, assuming that you've already created the rank, and don't worry if you don't know how to create one, I'm about to show you how to make one. So let's go ahead and go in here to users, okay? You wanna find the user that you wanna give the rank to, so in this case, it'll just be myself. Uh, go ahead and click on that user, and then you guys can see here groups. Go ahead and click on that and click add, and then you can give them the group that you want or the rank that you want, same thing. Um, and it's really that simple. Okay, so now we're back at the home page here, and you can click on groups, and you guys can see we have this one, which is basically all the permissions in the game. I did create this, but to create your very own group, you can do add, and then you can type in what you want. So we'll say admin, okay? And now we have admin. And then right here, uh, we have a few options whenever you click on it. Uh, you can set this to be the default group. So if you created like a group like player or something, and that's like the default group, and you want everybody that joins the server to have this group just by default, you can click that right there, and that'll make that the default group. Or if you made a mistake and you don't want that to be the default group, you can just click it again and it goes away. If you don't have a default group set, uh, every time somebody joins, uh, if it's a new player, they'll just get a random rank and it'll automatically decide. So be sure you do set up a default group. Okay, so now we have permissions. This is the fun part. And I highly recommend you have essentials for this because this is basically all the permissions in the game. You have them all in here and there's a bunch of them. Okay. So yeah, there are different pages. So you can go to the next page, next page, previous, previous. Um, you can add an all for that one page. So if you want to add all those in just that one page, you can do that. But it's not going to get all these. Okay, so keep that in mind. So right here, since this is the admin group, I'm going to go ahead and add in some basic permissions here uh, for essentials. We're going to add in a TP for teleport. Okay, you guys can see here, um, they get pretty much all these. So right here, you can have your group inherit a certain um, group. So say you have the base group. This is like just the player group. Say that that's what it's called. And that's the one that everybody gets. But then there's like a paid one. Um, but you want that paid group to still have the permissions from the player group, the free one. So you can actually have certain groups inherit other groups. Okay, so back into this menu, you can change the name. So if you want to name it something else, so owner, say I want to do that, you can always do that. Um, and you can always name it back. Right here, prefix and suffix. This is one of the biggest things with uperms. If you're creating a server, you need to have prefixes for everybody. Um, this is just going to be a basic um, thing, color codes here. You can look those up on the internet. Um, but yeah, now we have that. So whenever the admins type in chat, they'll have that prefix before their name. Um, you can change the icon. This is more aesthetics. You don't have to do this, but I guess I will since I'm already here. Uh, we'll go ahead and give it a chain command block. This isn't gonna affect the group at all. It just adds a little icon there, as you can see. Um, back into this menu again. Um, looks like we've pretty much gone over everything. You can delete the group, click that, and then confirm. Uh, or you can just abort, that cancels it. So yeah, super simple. Um, and I'll go ahead and demonstrate this. So I have the little star group. So whenever I type, you can see I've got that little uh, star before my name. And then right there, the two brackets, ignore those. Those do not come with uperms. That is part of another plugin that we have. So yes, the uperms is compatible with other plugins that may add uh, certain 
prefixes and stuff. So say you have essentials and you have prefixes in there. Uh, as far as I know, uperms will use those as well, and there's really no way to disable that, unfortunately. Um, that's probably the one kind of downer with uperms, uh, also known as ultra permissions. Uh, you can't really get rid of other plugins prefixes unless you do it through the other plugins. So it is what it is. Uh, not a huge deal breaker or anything. It's just a small thing. But yeah, that's really all there is with uperms. Um, oh, my bad. We'll go ahead and go back into uperms here and we'll take a look at some of the other things it has. So right here in the main list, you can click on expand. Gives you some other options here. It's really self-explanatory. Uh, here inside of settings, you can change uh, prefix for ultra permissions itself. So when you type in something like slash UPC, you can see the colors here and all that. Um, or if you type in slash um, uperms, I guess. I mean, really, there's no reason to change this prefix, but you can if you want to. Uh, right here, miscellaneous uh, default permissions. I would stay away from this. Uh, just set up a default rank. It's a lot easier than that. Uh, language, self-explanatory. Chat and tablist format. This is pretty fun right here. Uh, format. So you can add in, like, uh, you just click it and you type in the thing that you want. So right here, if I click that, um, we can have it say, we'll do Osborne. Okay. And then you can do uh, right here, prefixes. I'll just have it say prefix. Um, there is a difference. And then right here, player. We'll have this be gray. Okay, uh, you do have to have the um, brackets around it. And then we'll go ahead and do colon and then message. And then you guys can see there, that's what it looks like. So whenever I type in chat, hi, you guys can see we have that whole thing set up. And once again, just ignore those brackets right there. That's really it. It's not much to it. Um, Ultra Permissions is a very simple plugin. Uh, it is GUI based. I'm a huge fan of it because it's GUI based. Uh, we used to use uh, another plugin that was not GUI based, and trust me, you want to be using something that has a GUI. Um, so, yeah, please do take a look at it. I'll link it in the description below. It is a paid plugin, like I said, but it's really uh, affordable, especially considering all the features you're going to get with it. It is one of the best plugins out there, in my opinion. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Osborne. And we will have more videos coming out very soon.